I have an absolutely amazing paper airplane for you today. This is Aerodactyl designed by Will Barron and just wait until you see the template for this thing. Now, as you can see, Aerodactyl looks great on its own. It's easy to fold and it flies absolutely brilliantly. But as promised, the template for this plane is just one of my favorites. Check this out. I've got this whole skeleton design that I'm just so stoked about. I absolutely love it. You can see the head of the pterodactyl there, this whole skeleton, even some details in the wings that I really like. I'm very, very excited about this one. So for just $4 a month, if you support me on patreon.com slash foldable flight, you can download and print off over 70 templates now, this being one of them, and fold planes that look amazing. So with all of that out of the way, let's see this plane in flight, and then I'll teach you how to fold it. You can fold Aerodactyl out of 8.5 by 11 inch or A4 paper. Today I'm folding out of 8.5 by 11 inch. With A4 paper, there's a couple of small differences that I'll show you along the way. To begin with, we'll take the right edge to the left. With any plane, you want to make sure this first crease is as symmetrical as possible. Once we have that, we'll open it up. And I want to take this top edge down to center line. And then we'll do the same thing on the left side. I'm using 8.5 by 11 inch today, so I'll take this tip and I'll land it where these two edges meet. And then I'll crease that across the top. If I was using A4 paper, I'd want to make a mark three centimeters up right here. And that's where I would land my nose before I creased it. So once I have this creased, I want to reverse it. I'll do that by turning the paper over and just folding back on the same crease I made making sure the point lands right on the center crease. Now I'll turn the paper over one more time. And I want to make a mark one half inch over or about to the right, just a little bit over one centimeter, and do the same thing on the left. You can guesstimate this. This doesn't have to be exact. Then what we want to do is we want to bring this top edge down right at this point and make it parallel to the center line. I do that by creasing here, and then I just roll forward until this line looks parallel to the center. And then I just want to match that on this side. Plane should look like this. Now I want to take this edge here and land it to the top edge of the plane, just like this. And then I want to take it and reverse it and fold it underneath. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. If you're using A4 paper, you'll now want to take this top edge and land it right to the bottom of your plane like this. If you're using 8.5 by 11, we're not going to take that point down that far. This, this top would be just up from the bottom. And actually what we're doing is we're, we're matching the point of this triangle to the top edge of the crease. Just like so. Now we're going to make one more crease here. So I want to fold this flap up. And halfway between this flap and the top, we're going to make our new crease right about there. So I kind of hold this flap out of the way, I grab all these layers, and I start to roll them forward. And what I'm aiming for is I'm aiming for the edge of this flap where it hits the triangle here and here. I want to land right at the top of the crease. Once I get pretty close, I'll just work these in. 
but I don't crease all the way because I don't want to crease this flap yet. Once I have it like that, I'm going to turn the paper over, pull this flap up, and just tuck this edge down underneath and lay that flap down. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and work all the, the bubbling out of the plane, give it to lay a little flatter. And then I'll just take it and fold it right back up on itself, reversing this center fold. Now what we want to do is make a new crease that goes from the corner of this pocket down at an angle. And the idea is for this edge here to land to the top angle of that nose. What that looks like is this. I just take all these layers and just roll them back on themselves like this. Once I have that, I'll let it stand back up, open this pocket up. And I'm gentle here because you can tear the pocket. So I open the pocket back up and I will tuck these up underneath there. What that's done is it's created a lock where all these layers are now trapped together. So now all we have left to do is to fold the wings. So how we fold the wings is we want to follow this pocket. It has a line and we just follow that line all the way to the back of the plane just like that. I'll start at the nose here and start to bend that. You can tear the nose if you're not careful, so I start there and I make sure that I get it rolled over. Once I have that started, I just use that pocket as a guide and lay it back on itself, just like that. Now we're going to turn it over and do the same thing again, starting at the nose. I get it most of the way, but before I fully crease it, I make sure the ends of my wings are lining up perfectly. And then I'll crease that just like so. And we'll lay it open just like this. And now all that we have left is to do the winglets. So the winglets are about three quarters of an inch or two centimeters. And I just want to make a crease right here and lay this edge back along the back of the plane just like that. Rotate the plane here and do it again. And there we have a finished aerodactyl. So this plane really likes to fly with its wings as flat as possible across the back. Uh, when you first throw it, you might need to do a little up elevator. You can do that by just pinching the back of the paper and just turning up slightly. If it's turning to the left, you'll just want to bend out the corner of your right winglet. If it's going right, you can do the same thing for the left. Um, I find that aerodactyl throws best with a nice steady, even toss. It doesn't like a real hard throw because of how wide the wings are. But if you get it tuned properly with a good gentle toss, this will fly very nicely. I had a wonderful time showing you how to fold this. I hope you have fun flying it. Until next time, happy flying.